So Andre from Germany reached out to me and asked if I could make it to where you could export the art with a clear background. So I've implemented that feature. So when you're sharing your artwork, uh, you now have the option to export the background that is behind the art or a clear background. So I'll just demonstrate that real quick. Um, I'll just go ahead and send this to Procreate. So it's easy to demonstrate that the background is indeed clear. So we'll go over here to Procreate and here it is. And if I change the color of the background, you can see that uh, the artwork is clear because the background is showing through it. Over here in the drawing section, I've added a repositioning icon to allow for moving the sketch layer. So I'll turn the pen layer on and that just allows you to kind of reposition things. Now I'm going to point out a drawback to this and this is of course due to my programming abilities. Let's um let's turn my reference photo off. So just working with the pencil layer here if the repositioning works fine but I've also added the ability to be able to uh, pinch scale it, which is great, unless you want to continue working after you have scaled it. And what I mean by that is, let's say you want to keep drawing. Notice nothing, nothing is happening until you get to a certain spot. So what you can tell from this is that the layer that you are drawing on has a clipping boundary. So let's go ahead and reset that. And the reset button just resets it to fill the screen. It just brings that layer back to its default position. Revert takes it back to where it was when you started repositioning it. So you can see where this is an issue. Um, again, my programming abilities are only so-so and I've spent hours trying to figure out how to deal with this and maybe one day I can find somebody who is much more adept at programming than I am and we can work these problems out. But for now, just be aware of this limitation. You can move it around with one finger or with your pencil and then two fingers to uh, zoom it. You can't really do them both at the same time. However, what is kind of neat is you can reposition and then put your thumb down. Move him around and then scale him. So that's kind of cool. So I'm going to bash on my own product a little bit because there are some things that don't work the way I would like them to. Um, the damage system, it's a great idea in theory, but it doesn't exactly work all that well. Um, where it does excel is when you're doing fill, color fill. So while you're feeling it, f filling an area, it can really tell when you're spending too much time in that area and it lets you know. And I think that's good for especially people who are starting out, beginning, uh, learning this uh, art form. Um, it's real easy to damage the skin and especially when you're doing fill, um, I think this really helps you uh, develop your hand speed and, and uh, when you're spending too long in an area. Where it does not work well is with uh, simulating gray wash. So when I'm doing gray wash, I do a lot of sweeping motions. I can sit here and do this and on real skin, this should already, I'd say right about somewhere in this area. Now the skin should be starting to beat up, but as you can see with the damage system engaged, it's not detecting that. 
I can sit here and do this for a very long time before it finally starts to detect any sort of damage. And that's unfortunate because by now this person, their skin is in a lot of turmoil. There, we finally got some damage. So, know the limitations of this. Um, use it when you're, you know, practicing. Sorry, obviously you can't undo while you're in the damage system. But, um, yeah, so that's an issue. So another issue is if you switch iPad models. Um, I've got the 12.9 inch iPad Pro and previously I was working on the 11 inch. Even though my previous artwork shows up fine on the new iPad, watch what happens when I make my first mark on the canvas. Just watch the art. See how it elongated? So what happened is the moment I started to work on this piece, it adapted to the new aspect ratio of this iPad. Um, so that's a problem uh, to be aware of. I have a good idea of why it's doing that. However, to be able to fix that is going to, <laughs> it's gonna involve me rewriting a lot of the foundation code, basically the original code that I wrote, and that's gonna change the entire app. And although I don't have a problem doing that, what's gonna happen is if I release that as an update, it's gonna pretty much ruin everybody's artwork that they've been working on. Um, it's just, mm. And just for a little demonstration, I've had a few emails from people who um, claim that you can't simulate uh, gray wash on this app. And so I'd just like to discuss that for a moment. Tattooing is needles going in and out of the skin with ink dropping in. That's the premise. Gray wash uses black ink, which is diluted. Um, Coloring a tattoo, filling a tattoo, uses regular full strength ink, undiluted ink. So the only difference is in the dilution of the ink between gray wash and regular ink. So since this app is a simulation app, there's no reason why it can't simulate gray wash. I think what's happening is people aren't understanding the concept of gray wash. So what I like to do is turn the slider up to five and I'll just go ahead and select um, a black ink. Let's go ahead and change the background to white so this is more visible. I'll zoom in here a little bit. I'm gonna bring this up to 10. I'm going to drop this down to three. Move up in value. Move up in value. So do you see the difference now between gray ink and gray wash? The techniques are different. Uh, let me pull in. Oops, that's not it. This one. This is the difference between, this is gray ink, this is gray wash, this is stippling. So there are three different techniques and they can all be practiced here. So I used some money from the sale of my app to purchase a iPad 7th generation. 
Uh, these are the newest iPads at this time. Um, because I wanted to see how well my app worked on it. Um, it's been my belief that my app only works on the iPad Pro. So I purchased a seventh generation iPad and I was a little surprised. Um, I think it is a completely usable app on the seventh generation um, iPad, but I just wanna show you uh, the performance issues and the difference between it and the iPad Pro. Um, so I'm just going to, first we'll do it visually. So first I'll demonstrate it visually and then uh, I'll run some numbers. So I'm just gonna run a few passes. I've got the machine uh, speed set to five volts and I'm just gonna do a couple passes. Try to keep them at the same speed and note the difference in the needle patterns. These look pretty much identical. The spacing is the same, so, which I figured it would, that's at the slowest speed. If we take it up to the highest speed, this is where I think we're gonna see some differences. So you see the spacing is a lot closer on the iPad Pro than it is on the iPad. However, um, it's not that bad. And one thing you should note, uh, the spacing is not that consistent and you'll find this throughout the range. There are different speeds where the spacing is gonna be a little erratic and that's just due to the math involved in the programming and how fast the processor of your device can can calculate that math and um, render it in, in that short amount of time. And unfortunately, trying to deal with 200 cycles per second um, on a device is not that feasible at this time. So as the processors get faster and the devices get faster, um, this should stop being a problem. But for now, there's always gonna be a little bit of erraticness um, in the stroke uh, just because of the processing power. It's just not there yet. I have gotten a lot of emails from people wondering when am I gonna develop this for another device like Android. So I hope this explains why I can't right now because the other devices can't run it. It's, they're just not fast enough yet. So that's at 15. Let's take this down to um, 13. You'll see um, 13 volts, the iPad Pro runs um, much more consistently. This is a nice pattern. You'll see the spacing on the um, iPad is a little wider. So the iPad can't quite keep up at these um, higher cycles per second, but it's still not bad. So at 7.8, they're starting to look identical. So my guess is the app is good up to a, probably about eight volts on the iPad seventh generation. Anything after that, I think it probably will just, isn't gonna be able to get any faster than that. So, um, and eight volts is, is still good to practice at. You can still uh, practice your techniques um, and get the feel for what tattooing is like. Um, just uh, being able to work at those higher uh, voltages past eight volts, um, is really only gonna work on the uh, iPad Pro.